This year's NBA Finals have been, well, different. We've had a team like the Milwaukee Bucks who we kind of just assumed would eventually make the NBA Finals, and we have a team like the Phoenix Suns who were the laughing stock of the NBA just two seasons ago. So with the NBA Finals starting up tomorrow, I decided that today I'm going to tell you guys some fun facts that you guys should know about not only just this series alone, but some facts between the Suns and Bucks because they've had a little bit of an interesting history. Let's get into this video. Phoenix has been dominating when it comes to having important role players, and one of the role players that's been helping out Phoenix is Torrey Craig, who actually started the season out on the Milwaukee Bucks. Earlier in the season, the Suns acquired Torrey Craig off a trade for I believe it was just some cash considerations. Now what that means is if you start out on a team, whether you get drafted or you sign as a free agent, and you get traded to another team, if both those teams make the finals, you're going to get a ring no matter what. So Torrey Craig is officially an NBA champion. How this season that both teams making the finals might be a little shocking, you might might be a shock to hear that both these teams have been in a very big drought for 50 plus years. The Phoenix Suns have been around for 53 seasons and have never won an NBA championship. The last time they made it was in 93 when they had Charles Barkley vs MJ. And the Milwaukee Bucks have won a championship but it was in 1971 with Kareem. Speaking of Kareem, in 1969 the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks had the worst record in the NBA. So back then there was no lottery odds, they decided to get the number one pick based on a coin flip. Unfortunately for the Phoenix Suns, they lost that coin flip and the Milwaukee Bucks won in drafting a kid by the the name of Luau Cinder, who we now know today as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The Phoenix Suns drafted King Ka or I mean uh, Neil Walk with their number two pick. Kareem would go on to be a legend and an icon of the game and Neil Walk is, well, playing King Kong in the new movie. Before the start of the NBA playoffs, everyone already had their favorites on who was going to win the ring, and both teams that were not really favorites were the Suns and Bucks, as the Suns had a plus 2500 chance of winning the NBA Finals, and the Bucks were number 6 with a plus 800. So it was kind of crazy to think that both these teams, no one really thought they were going to win, maybe first or second round exits, but no one expected an NBA Finals series out of this. Right now, Phoenix is the hottest team in basketball and has an opportunity to win a ring. However, though, two seasons ago, they were not that, as they were the worst NBA team in the league. During that same season, the Phoenix Suns would watch the NBA playoffs on their couch while the Milwaukee Bucks were fighting versus the Toronto Raptors who would go on to be the champions and were actually up 2-0 in the series but unfortunately lost a 2-0 lead and lost 4-2. I'm sure you guys have seen the meme going around right now by Eric Bledsoe but if you guys don't know this, Eric Bledsoe has played for the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks and it's not like just in his career. These were very much recent. I think you guys remember the story about Eric Bledsoe, how he put that tweet out saying that I don't want to be here uh, when he was on the Phoenix Suns as we were doing just terrible. And understandable, most players really wouldn't want to be there at that time. However, though, he got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Milwaukee Bucks had, they were doing pretty good and Eric Bledsoe was a part of some of their playoff runs. However, though, he was not a part of that finals team and he retired, I believe it was this season or maybe it was the year before. Point is, though, he was not only on the Suns, who are now came from NBA Star, who was on the Bucks, who had a very good chance to win a ring, and he still couldn't get that ring. Personally, I've never liked Eric Bledsoe, but that's just kind of sad, honestly. After round one of the NBA playoffs, it was a vote going on that the Phoenix Suns were the not really the favorite, but they were like the team to root for. Everyone was going for the Phoenix Suns, which is understandable. Whether you're a Chris Paul fan or a basketball fan or a Devin Booker fan, this is the team that everyone's been rooting for. The last one isn't much of a fun fact, but it's kind of a story, and that's about Cameron Payne. If you guys don't know who Cameron Payne is, he is the he's one of our point guards. He's like our iPhone. I would say our six man, maybe seven man, whatever. He's the backup for Chris Paul though. And he's been someone that's been dominating. And a lot of people are like, where the hell did he come from? And I'm gonna tell you that just a little bit of it. So about two seasons ago, he was playing in China. Ha huh, funny, Shanghai Sharks, whatever. Now he was on some other team. But he was a free agent and he played in the G League for a while, didn't have good success. And when the bubble started up, Monty Williams set him up and said, Hey, we need you. Would you like to play for our team? And he dominated. He was one of the key factors to that 8-0 run, which is kind of funny to think about. And ever since then, we signed him to an extension, and he's just been going off. And he's been one of the key players. And when you're a championship caliber team, there's one thing you need. It's, it doesn't have to be stars. You need a team that's balanced. You need an amazing bench supporting cast. You need players like Cameron Payne and Dario Sarge and Cameron Johnson and players like that that are able to come off the bench and be a good workload. Because if you like have all your starters in and you come out and your bench is terrible, then most likely if they have a better bench than you or just a balanced overall team, then they're going to dominate you and you're going to need the starters to play 40 plus minutes. But Phoenix can have players like Devin Booker maybe play 25 or 30 and honestly be able to relax. Like I've seen Chris Paul be able to go out a lot because we have a good supporting cast and players like Cameron Payne are able to hold it down. Now that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for the support lately. Switching NBA content has been really fun and I'm honestly having a blast with this. So if you guys have been enjoying these videos, also leave some comments and suge suggestions on what you guys want me to make videos on and uh, tell me who's going to win the finals. I know it's the Bucks, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Amazing day. Peace.